Like now, brother, I was thinking, mm -hmm. because I've seen it be a great man. Let us initiate a given factory in the area that can observe a quite a number of people who are chopless. So no. that they can have something to eat. You know what my mm. what my intention mm. initially was mm. after I left last year? Yes. To bring the to, people to get a piece of land yes. from the government. Yes. And build one square building. Yes. And have that building divided where kids can come home and get their come to come home from school, mm. get help with their homework. Like, mm. they, it, it's, and I would call it a place mm. just like a place I knew in in Trenchtown called. Okay. And that place called Place Center. You know what, brother? I, but what happened mm. is people mm. tend to let you deviate from your objectives mm. yeah human beings are like right. that human and beings but let us not let us not stop moving to the next level once we have our vision not all people can have the same vision yes but mm. we'll see what happens we'll brother, see what happens like if like, you like, have that vision yeah. i'm able to donate land me as a person mm -hmm. so that we can have that kind of a project not all people can have the vision you have, brother. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll talk because mm. I don't need the, mm. any land for me because mm. to live in Kenya would be mm. too far from my whole entire family. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I don't, I have no intentions of mm. buying land mm. or living in things. Mm. My intentions are to see if mm. I could improve mm. the lives Amina. of anyone who is less fortunate than I am. Thank you, my brother. That's all. Let me That's have all. some discussion with my people. We can donate land for that kind of development in the area, brother. And I we can, are able. And I the bigger picture. What is this bigger picture that Ayamara talks about? See, this is purely family business. You know, when Maro comes out to talk about the bigger picture, he says it's a a very big vision he has for the entire village Nyabuhanse and for everyone in that village to make it a better place. Just like anyone say making the, uh, the world a better place. But it's purely, purely family business. It's all business working towards the benefits of the family. This same family. Yeah. It will benefit some other people in the process while building the family business. But it doesn't mean that it is purely uh, a bigger picture to benefit everyone in that village. No, it's entirely the family business. Everyone in that family, from Ayamara to Congress dad to Congress mom to Dream Wango or maybe David Jr. sometimes. And anyone in that family talks about some people like... Uh, Uncle Mo and others, they all play around this bigger picture to make the family business a success. Maro will trick these international investors. Con mom will play some nice lady vibes, some nice mom things. Con dad will still play uh, the investor. <laughs> okay, or maybe the entrepreneur, man. Dream Wango will still play the nice lady to tap the entrepreneurs and it's all for this same thing. So right now, Congress Dad is trying to trick or maybe to get this uh, Mr. Cecil, how is he? Mr. Cecil or the Trenchtown boy to build a factory in the village and he's very willing to give him land, one of the pieces of land that he has uh, bought <laughs> from the villagers so why are they so much into investing into the family business than actualizing now that bigger picture that Maro brings out that it's to for the whole village all right now we have this uh two jamaican men jamaican uncles i, I call them jamaican uncles that is trench down boy and Jamaican uncle himself. I don't know the other name. So these are the two investors that I see in the village at this moment. And uh, the, this family really, really want to get them down into investing in this village heavily. Uh, in exchange for some promises or maybe some 
dreams that they're going to benefit in one way or the other. But I was surprised to hear the Trenchtown boy breaking it down to Congress that, that hey, I have no intentions of living in the village. So at this moment, I, I'm trying to see a different kind of picture from the Trenchtown boy compared to Jamaican uncle. Because Jamaican uncle is doing like uh, investing in hopes to benefit something else from the village. But the Trenchtown boy, or maybe Trenchtown boy, that fun, sounds funny. But anyway, the Mr. Cecil is portraying himself to be like a, a pure investor, or maybe no investor. Investor, you have to benefit. A pure donor, for example, in that, a helper uh, that doesn't want to get strings attached or whatsoever or demanding nothing. So anyway, let's get out to this bigger picture thing. Um, the bigger picture here, I told you it's family business. So when Marwa brings the investors to the village, he kind of sells them a dream that when you invest, for example, your, your $2 million to this village or IMA project, this is how you're going to benefit from it in this and that and that, or maybe the other way. So they kind of buy that dream or maybe that narrative and invest in, <coughs> sorry, in Marwa and Marwa's family business. So in such a way, the, the investors or maybe these people will think that they are benefiting or maybe they are helping the entire village. But the problem comes when an investor wants to, inv to, to help the villagers directly without investing into this family business. That's where the problem comes. And they will get that investor cornered to start investing in the family business. Uh, in the name of helping the villagers or maybe uh, helping the, the vulnerable. So right now, the, this trench down boy that is Mr. Cecil is in the village together with a Jamaican uncle. So when Mr. Cecil came, uh, from what I've been seeing or uh, hearing, is he's the guy behind... Uh, it's Pasi's children sponsorship or maybe other vulnerable children sponsoring in school fees and stuff. So when is he here, he came to see what's happening, what's happening. And as always, the family business have to go on. So they got him into doing or maybe investing into the family business. So he has started repairing the road and this road was Marwa's initial plan. But the problem came when Marwa wanted to do this road, expand the road, and it has to pass through uh, other villagers' lands. And you know, that is not a public road. It's a personal road heading to the villa. So when he was to expand that road, you know how to maybe buy the land, that extension, or maybe ask them to donate that land for your purpose. But because they couldn't agree, so when uh, uh, Marol bounce, he has to make someone, he has to use someone to do that job on his behalf. And Trenchtown Bone, Trenchtown Boy has done it. He invested in that maybe to a way of maybe saying, uh, maybe saying thanks, whatever he said. All right. He did that. But that was initial Marol's plan. So it's family business. But in the same in the same thing in the same uh, in the same process, Congress Dad is right there with him, trying to tap him to invest in some other business. This has been part of the business for so long. Remember, Maro's plan is to have a Silicon Valley in that village, where everyone who is supposed to live around him should have a very uh, expensive and good villa and all that because his plan is to have like a like a a Silicon Valley village and his Airbnb business have to be uh, actualized or maybe made possible by this uh, these boys of his that he called boys who will build around him and maybe his those villas or maybe those houses can be used for his business precisely so 
Trent's that boy is now being, uh, how can I say, seduced or convinced by Congress dad to start a factory in that village. And Congress dad is much more willing to give land, to donate, or he say he will donate land, a piece of land, to build that factory. Amen. Like now, brother, I was thinking, mm -hmm. because I've seen it be a great man, let us initiate a given factory in the area that can observe a quite a number of people who are chopless so no. that they can have something to eat. You know what my, mm. what my intention mm. initially was mm. after I left last year? Yes. To bring the to, people. To get a piece of land yes. from the government. Yes. And build one square building. Yes. And have that building divided where kids can come home and get their come to come home from school, mm. get help with their homework. Like, mm. they, it, it's, and I would call it a place mm. just like a place I knew in in Trenchtown called. Okay. And that place called Place Center. You know what, brother? I, but what happened mm. is people mm. tend to let you deviate from your objectives mm. yeah human beings are like right. that human and beings. but let us not let us not stop moving to the next level once we have our vision not all people can have the same vision yes but mm. we'll see what happens we'll brother, see what happens like, if like, you like, have that vision yeah. I'm able to donate land me as a person mm -hmm. so that we can have that kind of a project not all people can have the vision you have, brother. Yeah, well, well, we'll sit down and we'll talk because... So you may think that that is such a, uh, okay, it's such a, a small, or uh, maybe a very light opinion that Congress, but they're so much determined to make that happen. And it's not just a Congress dad idea. I believe it's Mara's big idea. Everyone will see, you'll see how Congress mom will be, for example, acting nice and welcoming these people. And Congress that is school, everyone is cool. No, that is part of Mara's business. They are all working together towards this family business. So when this Jamaica uh, Trenchtown boy came, you saw how the reception was. Congress mom had already known that why they want him back to the village. They want to make their dreams come true. So the, the, the reception was so uh, warm and everything. He felt now good. Welcome and loved. <laughs> wow, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, my brother, welcome. Yes, I'm good. Thank I'm so you. happy to meet you people. Yes. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry what yeah. happened last night. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. See now? <laughs> yeah. Turn the air condition down. Let's <laughs> pray. <laughs> now, the next thing is to get the road done. It's already done. Now, we want to have this Trenchtown boy to build a factory in one of those pieces of land that Condad has taken from the villagers at a, at a very cheap price. They still have rangos in those, uh, those pieces of land, but we want to have, they want to have this old man building a factory there. And guess who will be running the factory? The villagers, right? <laughs> that's what you think. And so that, that's what the Jamaica now, Contact is trying to tell this uh, old man that, hey, you know, when you build this factory here, uh, it's a way of giving employment to the villagers who have no jobs. So if you build that factory here, they will kind of get employment. That is the dream. That, that, that is the picture they, sh they sell to these investors. But the real bigger picture, it's family business. So if that factory is built in Congress dad piece of land, that maybe is registered into his papers, right? And that factory is built through them because I know they will have Congress dad and his, the family building the factory. That man will be like a sponsor, not, a, not, a, not even an investor, a sponsor. A sponsor has no string attached. You just, spawn, you just give the money and bounce. Unlike a, an investor who invests to maybe benefit from the outcome of the business. So if that, if that uh, old man sponsored that project to build the factory, so it's definitely a family business. Kong Dad donates the land, the man gets the money to build the factory. 
and that is now the family business. This trench down boy initial plan wasn't to build this factory and everything, everything, not even to build this road. His idea was to come in the village and build something like a, a, a learning hub, like a, what he called a play center in Trenchtown. But it's like a learning hub in Kenya. We call them learning hub or maybe tech hub or stuff like that, where children can go there, sit down and do homework and learn. There's internet, they gadget like computers and everything. So it's like a, a learning hub or maybe a tech hub. But that... It's not right according to uh, it's not right to the family because that will will involve a lot of uh, villagers to come and benefit straight to that at a free cost. You know what my mm. what my intention mm. initially was mm. after I left last year. Yes, to bring the to, people to get a piece of land. Yes, from the government. Yes, and build one square building. Yes. And have that building divided where kids can come home and get their come to come home from school, mm. get help with their homework. Like, mm. they, it, it's, and I would call it a place mm. just like a place I knew in in Trenchtown called. Okay. And that place called Place Center. You know what, brother? I, but what happened mm. is people mm. tend to let you deviate from your mm. objectives. Yeah, human beings are like, like that. Human and, beings. Like, that is not a good business, according to this family. If you open a learning hub where any villagers can come, or maybe any child from that village can come and learn for free and everything, the family won't benefit from it. But if you build a factory there, if you build a factory there, the villagers won't come and work for free. They will come and exchange their labor for small payment. But the, the factory is benefiting the family. So it's business than it is charity. Right? So I don't know if Mr. Cecil is going to buy that idea to build that, uh, that factory or something. But they said they're going to sit down and talk. I'm really hoping that Mr. Cecil won't be tapped or be trapped to do this kind of thing. Because himself, he made his point clear that, hey, I don't have no plan of living in this village or maybe coming to sell here away from my, my family. Not all the people can have the vision you have, brother. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll talk because mm. I don't need the, mm. any land for me because mm. to live in Kenya would be mm. too far from my whole entire family. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I don't... I have no intentions of mm. buying land mm. or living in things. Mm. My intentions are to see if mm. I could improve mm. the lives Amina. of anyone who is less fortunate than I am. Thank you, my brother. That so I think that is, that is what we're going to make that dream very hard. Because unlike Jamaican uncle, when they told Jamaican uncle, hey, Maro told him to buy him solar panels and invest and everything on him and after that, doing that Maro again sold him another dream of giving him or gifting him a piece of land and that piece of land he's starting now to build there he's fencing and doing everything with a dream or maybe an idea of living there so if Jamaican uncle is willing to re relocate to come and live in the village that's to mean he's willing to do all those things according to the family business but Trench Town Boy is kind of different from what I saw. So uh, the family business is not run by just Mara. So you will see sometimes Mara letting Congress dad do something or maybe letting congressman play her part and do manga stuff. So uh, Jamaican uncle invested heavily in solar panels and other stuff for Mara. And they gifted, Mara said he gifted him land. And now this land is supposed to be built as something very big and uh, very nice, uh, like a villa, a good one. Maybe that would be used for the Airbnb business, the hostels. Because how long will Jamaican uncle live in that village away from his family? Oh, do you even remember that case of Jamaican grandma? 
she thought she was buying land that maybe she could live or maybe relocate and live in the village or do whatever she thought she would do. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it to come back even revisit the land. May her soul rest in peace. That land is already in use. It's already in use with the family. So it's family business. And here comes Jamaican uncle. As soon as the land is, everything is complete, the building is erected there and everything. They will have no business with him. Maybe he will have to go back there. He's growing old, for God's sake. And I don't know. Gifted him land. Wow. But this is actually a very bigger picture, according to Mara, but it's some family business. So all these people from Mara, Congress dad, Congress mom, Jim uh, Wango, or maybe sometimes David Jr., but he plays at, from a distance. And some other people like uh, Uncle Mo, who plays like a family goon, but they all work towards this family business thing. So everyone in that family has a, a role to play in actualizing this family business. Even remember, Dimwango was talking about uh, building a factory. This factory idea has been there for, uh, for so long. Dimwango was talking about building a factory with, uh, who was that? Dante. Was it Dante? Aaron Dante, I don't know. Some of that sort. I forgot. Dimwango and that man who they thought they would build a, a factory in that village. And even Congress dad donated the land, maybe donated, let me say, gifted land to Dimwango. Because when Dimwango told Congress dad, when they talked and said, hey, I have someone, some guy who is willing to give a lot of money. So maybe we'll need land. He can, he's willing to build the factory. So Congress dad gave land to Dimwango to get that man building a factory there. Okay. So this is the Dimwango's this boundary. Mwango's boundary. Yeah, if you can see there is a sasho wow, there. Yeah. There is a plant here. Wow. This is a shamba. This is like one acre, two acres? So? It is 1.2 point. It is the other one I gave Dimwango at the, at the market. At the market. She has expanded I know it. the other one for... Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I saw Just the one Just the next Mayani. But I think he bounced. <laughs> he was he was wise enough. He said, hey, this is a trap. He bounced before that plan actualized. Now they are, she's uh, trying to get that man buying a beachfront apartment in, in the coastal region of Kenya, Mombasa. I don't know if that, uh, if that too is going to happen or so. But in the village, the family will act like uh, they have a good plan for the entire village. We want to do this. We are building a nice road. For your villagers to use. But where is the road heading? Straight to the villa. You know? We want to do, we want to put some big solar panels here that we can supply electricity to the villagers. Is it that happening? <laughs> no, it's not. We want to build a, a factory here that will provide employment or maybe, yeah, employment for unemployed people in the village so they can make a living from it. Is that so? How many people have been working for Marwa for absolutely free or maybe some penny? So you expect that the factory run by the family will be of difference? Absolutely not. But the thing is, whoever, whoever may, whichever investor is willing to pour their money into this business, I mean, these investments, they can do it. If they're willing, let them do it. But the thing is, they should not make it look like a, it's, a, it's a project that is designed to help the villagers. Because it's not. Matter of fact, the villagers who even own land are adjacent to them and be mm, bordering them, closer to them, are suffering. Because they will wake up, want to expand the road. Even if it means it has to pass through your home, it will. They won't listen to you. Yesterday, Pasi was crying about them invading to her land. The other widow, I saw her even complaining about the same thing, the road. A lot of people there, apparently. So it's not like uh, the, everything you see there, the project, are uh, designed to help the villagers. No. 
that's not the thing. If this factory that Congress that is really pushing for to be built there, uh, him have provided the land with purely Maro's business, Maro's family business, and maybe Maro becomes the CEO of it, and he has to do the hiring and firing. So definitely every villager there that will come to seek for employment, they will have to get into terms. I'm your boss, work here for free and stuff. For maybe shout outs and stuff. Camera will be rolling in the factory. <laughs> well, the bigger picture indeed. You know, when Maro talks about the bigger picture, uh, it may sound cool. It sounds cool to a lot of people because this guy is planning to do what? Uh, to elevate the village. When he talks about how he has a plan for his boys, I want to get Tiriba to build a very good house here. Mayuguna has a very good house here. Nasta there, whoever there, whoever there. And all these boys, I want this village to be a very mm, good and nice village uh, with people who are established, right? But on what terms? Freely? No, it's not free. All this... Or maybe everything there, it's a, a transactional. It's not more, it's like, I can't say it's transactional. When I get you investors, for example, Mara talks about getting a, an international mind in helping la, someone like Mayuguno into deciding what to do, that is purely business for him. For example, right now, whatever Jamaican uncle and Mr. Cecilia are doing in the village is for the benefit of the, the, the family, this family. So how exactly is other villagers benefiting from this? Okay, they came there, work, uh, worked there to build the, the road, right? They got paid. But is that really helping? R real helping was this, something like uh, that plan of Mr. Cecil building a learning hub, like a, a learning what, a play center, a learning hub. That will have benefited everyone there. For example, his taking kids to school, paying them school fees. Now that is now helping. Now that is now helping the village. Now that is the bigger picture. If Maro talked about the bigger picture, that now is now the bigger picture. Not building a company or maybe a factory for the family and now getting the villagers working for you all and being underpaid. The bigger picture here will make more sense if they let Mr. Cecil do his initial plan, build that learning center. The children who are struggling to do homework at home, to learn, or maybe this and that, like tuition and stuff, they can come there and learn. That will benefit the, whole, the, the village. But that is a very bad idea, according to the family, because if you educate the villagers, they will definitely open their eyes and see, hey, they open their eyes and see the bigger picture now, the real bigger picture that uh, maybe you are being used, maybe something is not right. But to keep them uh, under you and coming to beg for your help daily, you have to keep them dependent to you daily. That's rule number one of slavery. The bigger picture indeed. But uh, I'm afraid that someone like Jamaican uncle already fell heavily for this trap. And it's actually, by the time he realized, it will be too late, like Jamaican grammar. It will be too late. Too late. Maybe the Trenchton boy is wiser. Or maybe he has seen whatever has been happening here and is cautious enough. I'm really hoping that he doesn't get trapped because he looks different. And if he was sponsoring uh, those children from the village who are vulnerable and uh, the masters are telling him now to stop I'm hoping he doesn't I'm hoping he doesn't stop uh, helping the real needy people because the bigger picture according to the Maros family is purely family business has no plan whatsoever to help any villager there nobody for free no but anyway <clears throat> If the investors come to that village and invest in something that will help the entire village, that's a good thing. I can support that. Someone like Mr. Cecil, if they let him actualize his plan of maybe building that 
learning hub and maybe doing something that will benefit the entire village, man, that would be like a greatest idea. But now Congress Dad will let, won't let him do that. Congress Dad want to get him building something that is going to benefit the, the family directly, not the villagers. <laughs> My brother, may God bless yeah, you man. abundantly. Man. You are a great man. Be good. Be you good. have just left a sign of, of legacy in this place. Appreciate you. And as long as I, am, I am grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful that My you brother, appreciate You are not a simple man, I'm telling you. I don't know what to, do, to say or what to give you, you have but my prayer is may God bless you abundantly. You have said it all. You have made us to be people. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without proper roads, yes. we cannot do any other development. Like now, brother, I was thinking, mm -hmm. because I've seen it be a great man, let us initiate a given factory in the area that can observe a quite a number of people who are chopless. So no. that they can have something to eat. You know what my mm. what my intention mm. initially was mm. after I left last year. Yes, to bring the to, people to get a piece of land. Yes, from the government. Yes, and build one square building. Yes, and have that building divided where kids can come home and get their come to come home from school, mm. get help with their homework. Like, mm. They, it, it's, and I would call it a place, mm. just like a place I knew in, in Trenchtown called. Okay. And that place called Place Center. You know what, brother? I, but what happened mm, is mm, people mm. tend to let you deviate from your objectives. Mm. Yeah, human beings are like right. that. Human and, beings. But let us, not, let us not stop moving to the next level. Once we have our vision, not all people can have the same vision. Yes, but mm. we'll see what happens. We'll brother, see what happens. Like, if like, you like, have that vision, yeah. I'm able to donate land, me as a person, mm -hmm. so that we can have that kind of a project. Not all people can have the vision you have, brother. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll talk because mm. I don't need the, mm. any land for me because mm. to live in Kenya would be mm. too far from my whole entire family. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I don't, I have no intentions of mm. buying land mm. or living in things. Mm. My intentions are to see if mm. I could improve mm. the lives Amina. of anyone who is less fortunate than I am. Thank you, my brother. That's all. Let That's me all. have some discussion with my people. We can donate land for that kind of development in the area, brother. And I we can, are able. And I can get sponsors for that in a heartbeat. Thank you, brother. I can get sponsors. I will make it, yes. brother. I will make yeah. it. So, I know whom you are. Yeah. Mm, I know whom you are, brother. Wow. So that is the bigger picture for you all. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see when Maro thinks about the bigger picture? Do you actually see it? Man, that's how I see it. And this is my opinion. Maybe you all, if you look at it, you may have a different opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the bigger picture. Do you really feel like, for example, constructing that bigger road from the uh, main road to Marwa's villa, it's an investment, it's, a big, it's, a, it's an investment that is designed to help the villagers. I don't think so. Maybe one or the other because who knows, I may be wrong. Or maybe do you think that telling Mr. Cecil not to build a learning hub, instead invest in building a, a, a factory on Congress Dad, which is precisely Marwa's land and let the family run that factory. Do you really feel it's a, an investment that is designed to help the villagers? Maybe an employment and staff? To me, as at this moment, from what I've been seeing, how Marwa treats the workers, how this Congress dad treats the workers, you could even see how he was talking to them while they were working on that road. We're here expanding the road. <laughs> No, I couldn't really feel like he can change when now he comes to the factory building his land run by the family. No, I can't buy that idea. But anyway, if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section. 
I might need to know what you think about all that, the bigger picture. Or what do you think about the bigger picture? What do you feel is the real bigger picture? Wow. Let me know in the comment section. Um, that was my two cents. Like, that is what I felt and how I see everything running there. I feel like the bigger picture according to Maro, it's purely family business. And it's being run by everyone in that village. Maro plays uh, the investor part. Get the investors coming to the family. Congressman plays the nice lady vibe. Give them a good reception to make them feel comfortable. Congress dad actualize the plan. I have land here. You can get millions of dollars, build this factory. Let me run and the villagers will benefit from it. <laughs> Dame Wango will try to tap these rich boyfriends to do that, but unfortunately she can't keep Norman, so there's a dead on arrival. But anyway, she plays some role in that village too, by keeping the villagers away from the family. Uh, David Jr. plays the family dump, but he does something. Uh, Uncle Mo plays the family good. <laughs> wow, that's a very strategic business. Family business, the bigger picture indeed. Guys, thank you for watching. My name is JT. This is JT Podcast. If you're new here, like the video. Consider subscribing and welcome to the family for my newer members in the family. Welcome so much. The channel members feel most welcome. Thank you so much for getting into channel membership. And my returning subscribers, returning viewers, thank you so much for always coming back to check. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, next episode. Thank you for watching.